So following on from the review of Zero G Shadowlands where I complained that the contact patches had no tempo syncing function, here's a quick tutorial on how to set up Time Machine Pro in contact to solve exactly that problem. So we're going to do this a really quick and easy way in contact and I've got loaded up a patch from Zero G Shadowlands which has a nice loop and it plays across the keyboard. But the problem is that it's not sticking to our host door tempo, which is uh, 67 or so. The loop is recorded at 88 BPM. We can see that by the file name of the loop. So we'll just go into the edit menu and we'll look in the mapping editor, double click the mapping and we've got the loop there. We can see it playing through. So to make that sync up, all we need to do is turn on the sync and slice time machine pro button, which is just here on the sync slice menu in the interface and then we'll switch on the grid and sometimes you'll need to put in the original BPM of the sample it's already detected it here it's 88 BPM and now that should lock into our host door tempo when we turn on the grid That's just a really quick and easy way to lock in samples to your host door tempo using Contact's Time Machine Pro. Thank you so much for watching. That's just a small taste of the Samplecast, a weekly podcast and YouTube show for sample library geeks and plug-in enthusiasts. You can find out more information at thesamplecast.com. Don't forget to subscribe.